Okay, so I get the comment a lot about statistical relevance. You can't just shoot three shot groups. And now people have started complaining about five shot groups. You gotta do more, you gotta shoot more groups. At least give it 10 shots, right? Well, <laughs> ammo's expensive, man. Like, you can't just be wasting 100 rounds every time you, you want to just figure out what statistical relevance is. But really, for kind of precision work, we want 10, 10 round groups. 100 rounds, if my math is correct. Uh, so today, my goal is to do that, is to do just that. I've got pasties down there on a cardboard at 100 yards. This is at my personal range behind my place here. And we've got the Seekins DMR chambered in six millimeter arc. The reason I chose the gas gun is because I don't shoot it as well as a bolt gun. I think my groups are gonna be bigger and wider and it'll just kind of help give a better representation, I think, of what a gas gun, a precision gas gun, is capable of with factory match grade ammo. This is from Hornady. Also, let me just switch to my... This little bag right here is from Coltac, of course, and you can use code PRN10 to get anything from Coltac 10% off. So PRN10 gets you 10% off at Coltac. Check this bag out. So it's got all my mags in there with my Hornady 108 uh, ammo. And, um, you know, I can fit quite a few mags in there. Pretty sweet little bag, again, from Coltec. All right, so here we go. I've got a GoPro running down, uh, downrange on the target. I'm also gonna get some Garmin data on the first, say, 20 rounds. I'm not gonna run it for the entire 100. All right, guys. Well, in all of my dinking around, even though it looks like it's a bright, sunshiny day, Got a pretty significant uh, storm cell moving in. I'm not sure I'm gonna get all 100 rounds downrange in time. I'm gonna do the best I can. And the scope is not fully zeroed yet, so I'm trying to get just close enough to those pasties so that we can, uh, we can sort this out. You would think, wouldn't you? After nine years of doing this, today is the nine year anniversary of Precision Rifle Network. Um, been doing it for a long time. Hit that subscribe button for me if you haven't in these nine years, please. You would think after all this time that I would start out these videos having done the basic things, right? But I just come into it assuming that I've already done it. I mean, the scope's properly mounted onto the rifle. It's been sitting in the safe why would I have mounted that and not zeroed the rifle? This, welcome to my world and my brain, okay? So, um, we've got some pretty uh, pretty bad mirage from the sun off of the, uh, the ground down there. Um, we've also got some off of the suppressor, obviously, because we've just been shooting some more shots. But here we go for the groups now. Assuming this hits really close to the orange dots, I'm going with the top left orange dot here. 10 shots. <sighs> okay, here we go.
first 10 done, we're gonna let it cool and we'll get in with the neck, not completely cool, but a reasonable amount of time because I don't wanna burn things up. We'll go um, top to bottom, left to right. So this will be at the orange dot in the center there. Ugh, assuming I can get my natural point of aim set here. shots down well, those groups look really similar and um, they're about two inches so here's the question when you have ammo that has an SD of five we'll just round up it was four point something but a group of two inches what's to blame Third group down, 30 rounds down. Getting quite a bit of mirage again, so I'm gonna pause and uh, let it cool down just a touch. Hold that last one, but we're not leaving anything out. We're going to go ahead and include them all, so. Okay, 40 shots done. Give her just a second to cool a little bit. And from the ammo that I have, that I'm willing to spend for this little experiment today, guys. Again, ammo is expensive. Uh, you can do the math, but I'm going to put 70 rounds on paper today for you guys. She's awful hot, boys and girls. We'll let her cool down again. Okay, next to last mag, guys. This is gonna be 60 rounds. Nope, malfunction. Oh no. Okay, this is gonna be 60 rounds downrange after this mag is done. I'm also gonna record the Garmin for these last 20 shots. I did the first 10. We're going to do the last 20. Second line down right side. Alright guys, here we go. Last 10 shots. This will be 70 rounds down range total. That's all I've got to spend today. I, I originally set out to do 100 rounds. I've got a storm coming in and I'm technically out of ammo. I thought I had more than I did, so 70 rounds is going to have to be good enough. Okay, I can hear something sizzling up here. It's not a good sign. As for our data here, so this is last 20 shots. Let me get this here. Actually, it only picked up 19. So we've got a 2715 feet per second with a standard deviation of 12 still very respectable first group was let's see hold on first 10 shots 27 19 and five 
It's 4.7, five feet per second standard deviation. So the last one was, uh, it picked up 19 shots, 27.15 average, so only three feet per second difference from the start. Standard deviation, 12 feet per second. So we had five feet per second, we had 12 feet per second, you know, over 30 shots. Okay guys, I'm gonna get back to um, the shop. We're gonna take a look at all of the shots on paper. We're gonna figure out the group sizes and see what our actual average of this rifle with this shooter is. Let's get back to the shop. Okay guys, here is the deal. You've got the different groups being flashed up on the screen. You got anywhere from 1.1 inches being the smallest to uh, about 1.8 being the largest. This rifle generally shoots an inch or better. So I really do think the heavy, heavy mirage that I had going on today uh, was playing a factor in getting these, these group sizes. Also, as I was editing through the footage, I noticed that the wind was blowing my target uh, probably six inches uh, forward and backward. And that could definitely affect where some of the shots land. Regardless, we fired 70 rounds and the overall average for all shots was 1.4 inches. The question is, statistical relevance. Do you have to fire this many rounds to find out that you and your rifle can shoot 1.4 inches? Or could we literally have taken just one of these groups being anywhere from 1.1 to 1.8 and just said, well, it's a 1.1 minute gun and just ran with it and probably got the same impacts downrange. I'll leave that one for the comments section, but uh, for me, I'm not going to be firing 70, 80, 100 rounds for quote-unquote statistical relevance. Thanks for watching today, guys. That's more than I usually spend by a long shot. Long shot. Dad jokes. You are not funny, Joel. Big freaking wuss, it's just a splinter.